honored members of the UWC. The situation on Katern has deteriorated more quickly than anticipated. The latest surface scan has confirmed our greatest fears. We have discovered that this planet harbors a civilization and that they find themselves on the brink of total annihilation. It is the duty of the UWC to ensure all life in the galaxy has the opportunity to grow and thrive. We must intervene. I have mobilized Space Corps. We have determined that the best course of action is to evacuate as much of the population as possible. Thanks again for letting us work here. Quinn! Quinn! We've received an urgent mission from Space Corps Command. Seriously? Yeah. But we just tracked down this lost civilization. All right. What does it say? <laughs> you won't believe this. We've been assigned to the Katern mission. Huh? You're joking. They don't mm. usually send scientists on a rescue operation. Uh. Was there a mix-up? Let's hear the update. The situation on Katern has deteriorated. We've lost contact with our satellite, and we need your team to provide reconnaissance and support to the rescue operations from orbit. You're the only expeditionary research team in range. Coordinates and objectives have been uploaded to your ship's AI. There's no time to waste. Please depart immediately and review the mission briefing en route. All right, team. Our directives have been updated. These artifacts can wait, but the rescue team can't. So let's get moving. Quinn, you need to take a look at... What is that? We're in some sort of asteroid field. <sighs> Are you sure you got the right coordinates? Well, I've checked the instruments. We're staring right at Kitar. It's breaking <sighs> apart. We're too late. <sighs> Abort the mission. Get us out of here. Here we go. All thrusters in full reverse. <sighs> Anomalies detected. Quinn, it's not working! We're being trapped in! Okay, team, this might be it. Get to the escape pods. We're gonna crash! This is the Aurelius to all Space Corps vessels. Do not enter this system. Repeat, do not enter this system. The planet appears unstable. Megaton pulses are flooding our instruments. We can escape. Preparing for impact! Abort the mission! Abort the mission! Ah! If you'd like to play along, this is C2893. That's the number of subscribers I have at the time of this recording. should be heading to the ship. I need to find them. I hope this still works. Carl online. How can I help? Carl? We need to locate the ship. Affirmative. The Aurelius has been marked on your map. All right. Let's get moving. I hope everyone's okay. Lucky we had these. It served its purpose. Space Corps escape pod model, number 3201. When I get off this planet, we should get the padding thickened. Welcome to Tran Wins Beyond Contact. This game will actually be fairly difficult to show you a really good playthrough. What happened here? Everything seems to be fading away because the game is always interrupting itself for example if i kept running forward looks like i can stand this i wonder what i'll find like i'm not worried about this but like as i run he's got my, the dude's gonna tell me stamina decrease so the game is always I can hear gurgling underground 
Always interrupting itself. Caution. Excessive there. movement will drain your oxygen and stamina reserves more quickly. Data acquired. Use data to begin new research projects. Alright, so this section here, these four uh, bars are uh, your... What a vast plane. I wonder what creatures live here. How is it sparking like that? Are your uh, expendable data resources. If you view an object before you've scanned it, she will have something to say that she may not otherwise. Now this says gather, so she won't actually say anything. So I'll just go ahead and scan it now. By identifying this ropey plant, I now know what all these other ropey plants are. They are timber flowers. So this game is, uh, I'm going to say it's difficult to to show off well because the game's always 100% interrupting itself. I, I can understand, for example, that, uh, that your stats are constantly depleting even in cutscenes and stuff. Fine. But you get your AI and your character saying, I'm hungry and I'm cold in the middle of them speaking about their own stuff. So... I'll, I'll be trying to maneuver around so that doesn't really happen as much. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm heading towards this blue arrow right here. That's next to where the E is. I can rotate with Q and E. It's deciding if it wants to grow more. The, this white arrow here indicates how far along the day it is, and then we have dusk and nightfall. At nightfall, it starts to get cold, and this is the temperature for cold, how cold it is. Um, when it gets down here, you start losing health. When it gets up there, you start losing health. Same thing as when you run out of oxygen and stamina. Your character just starts losing health. You don't just, like, die outright. By collecting mini plants, I'll continue to build up my organic data, which will be used for research. So what this is, I just spent five... Uh, I, sp I just spent one mineral of my one mineral data researching this thing right here. I will get to be able to create thermal sticks, and I will learn how to research these two items next. Uh, the game is always running, unless it may have a component to do with. Waiting to be created in the fabrication interface, and it may have something to do with the fact that this game is uh, able to be play played multiplayer. and foggy in this region. I'm glad my suit is climate controlled. This dirt appears quite compacted. My scanner may show why. Again, like I'm deliberately just taking it slow during this so I can give you all the dialogue. I haven't got the right digging equipment. Take a look at my discoveries. But other than that, I would be balancing out by playing fast in all other categories or aspects. I picked up something new to scan. It's getting dark again. The unique capabilities of the materials here may allow me to modify my scanner. Research results are in. Oh, 
much further is this thing? Not too much further. I should be able to find a thermal thing there. I can easily craft one. I have way enough spark stones to do it. But I'm really almost there. Alright, alright. I'll go and craft one. Then I'll just light this thermal stick. You can see the frost on the edges. And there we go. So, this is my hand equipment. It's, But also, if I throw it on the floor, it's I'm still heated. Research results are in. Everything's totaled. I don't think the Aurelius will ever fly again. Let's look around. We've reached the Aurelius, which is our spaceship. Again, if I try to look at it first, I get more dialogue. This looks typically. like the remains of our landing gear. Not everyone made it to an escape pod. Oh, hopefully it did its job. But you can expect this playthrough to be slow on the story parts and fast on the building parts. It doesn't look like our supplies made it. Research revealed some interesting results. A piece of the communications array. One of the things is I'll keep my stats up so that way she doesn't interrupt by saying how hungry she is. A piece of the communications array! It works! Carl, report our status to command. We need help immediately! Transmitting emergency message. Sent. Hmm, message failed. The ionosphere appears to be deflecting outgoing transmissions. We are on our own. The research results are in. of the communications array. It's car. Is anyone trapped in here? Hello? It's negative. The scanner is not detecting any heartbeats. Oh, the hello part is what she says if you examine before you scan, and heartbeats is what you get if you examine afterwards. This hole goes right through the port wing. I picked up something new to scan. Impact residue readings match with the planet's signature. That rock was from this world. Automated broadcast detected. Now playing back message. To my fellow crew members, stay strong. We've taken a beating, but we'll pull through this together. Many survivors have been secured so far, some injured. We've remobilized and set up a temporary camp nearby. We have secured resources and medical equipment. All Space Corps operatives need to make their way to our camp. This message will repeat until all crew members are accounted for. We are in a desert region rich in coral. Message concluded. Haha, <laughs> yes! I knew they'd make it. Thank goodness. We're going to make it, Carl. Let's go. So you can recognize what it is that you're heading towards. So the teal ones are air. The orange ones are rope. Uh, I'm actually heading the wrong direction. I just kept walking in this pathway. So now I'm heading towards where the crew decided to set up base uh, after crash landing. So I explored their crashed ship. Let's head on and find the crew. How far is this? Well, we started here. So we passed, we passed them completely, apparently. Uh, let's, let's go this way. I'm not worried about the sands, but I, I, might, I will find more of the stuff I currently can use by going through the, gr the green area.
You have to click for each attack. Once it's dead, you can scan it. Wait, I should probably view it first. No, no, she says nothing. Buffed its last buff. Suits run out the buckets. All right, let me think here. So really not much I can do. Well, I guess I could eat. I'll eat these right now. So this is a bar of how fast it's decaying. It'll become rotten food after a while. The orange bar up here is how much uh, food I have in me. Eating food also recovers just a tiny bit of stamina. I mean, a uh, life. Eating rotten food decreases a little bit of life. Takes about maybe four days for oxygen bubbles to refill. So I threw a net at this guy, because otherwise he'll run away. Something new to scan. Certain creatures, you can right-click to slaughter them in your pocket, and you'll get your net back. The sun is setting. All right, so I made a chitterling shell, and I should be able to make a. Uh, well, if I have the room, okay, then we'll make a backpack. Now I have four more spaces right here. I'll pick this up, and we'll keep going. So if I find more chitterlings, like right there, I think he just burrowed away, though. Um, I can create more stuff. So that's why I got the net. They'll, they're going to be green on the mini-map because they're not actually aggressive to you, but they will run away from you if they see you. Nope. By throwing it, you lose durability in it, whether or not it catches somebody. He's staring at me now, so I'll, I, I won't be able to catch him until he stops paying attention to me. Whoops. I didn't mean to... Ah, oh, I used it. In progress. I, I thought that was my thermal. I really did not mean to use my oxygen canister. I was, I've been saving those babies on purpose. I have resin. Okay, I'm just leaving it alone for now. recent too I don't think I have it in me to listen to this Captain's log good day we finished setting up our little outpost here the wounded are being treated and oxygen supplies are sorted nearly everyone's accounted for nearly we've been out searching for Quinn still no sign of her so far but she's tough I'm sure she's made it during our search, we discovered a massive collection of ruins. They look similar to the image we received during the briefing. After we find Quinn and patch everyone up, getting to those ruins is going to be our top priority. What? 
Everyone, diamond formation. Get in a defensive position. Protect the wounded. This can't be happening. Everyone's gone. Just like that. By scanning this, you'll get some armor. It's a makeshift shelter. Got a security baton here. It's a space core tent from our ship's storage containers. My scan indicates that something ripped open the tent. They used biodegradable plastic from the ship's storage. We misclick. Uh, your character was swinging. So, if it says equip, that means that you're not equipping the mine, you're equipping the thing that will use the mine or whatever it is. So, for example, if I click on dirt, it'll say equip. You can spam click better if you don't have something equipped. That way if you miss something miss, it won't like make you try to swing. something like this on any planet I've been to. Indeed, I cannot calculate what this structure is made of. Caution, it is radiating an unusual energy. Analyzing. This energy is exhibiting a pattern, almost as if it is an encoded message. I can't hear you, Carl. My vision's getting blurry. I can see... Please. to revive me if I fall. I see something watching me. Something big. It's getting covered in something. I see spirals appearing all over it. It's starting to crack. It says, Void Rift. If 13 of them appear, Katern will explode. Oh, I'm hearing voices. They're asking for help. Ah! Elf time, please move away from this structure. Repeating for the 13th time, please move away from this structure. Re Relax, Carl. I don't quite know what just happened, but if this thing can be trusted, we just learned some valuable information. These obelisks will revive me if I connect to them. And if 13 void rifts appear, then it's all over. We'd better get a move on. 
the sun is setting. That horn is telling me it's dusk. My mind is being flooded with images. I am connected now. All right, let's see here. For tools, if I build another electrical wiring, which I'll need some resin for, so I need to find a, another resin. Get that dot away. Get that dot away. I should probably talk to Caro. And this is where we're going next. Well, oh, actually, I need to still discuss the next move with Caro. Oh, yeah, let's do that. So, our crew was attacked and were forced to retreat. I am not detecting any signs a retreat took place. The most probable outcome is that our crew did not survive the attack. Due to this emergency situation, you are now acting captain. The responsibilities of this mission are now in your hands. What? Me? Don't say that, Carl. We don't know for sure what happened. The crew said they found some ruins. I'm sure that's where they retreated to. We need to make our way there and regroup with them. Captain Hicks, I strongly recommend establishing a suitable base and fabricating equipment before traveling to the ruins. The unknown force that killed our crew necessitate further caution. Don't call me that. I'm not the captain. Let's prepare our defenses, gear up, and find everyone. We no longer need to craft a mini backpack, so let's turn that off. I do want to craft that, so I'll, let's see, I just need just an electrical wiring, which is still requiring that resin. And it looks like my target is down this way, actually. We'll head, uh, head in that direction. This whole region is covered in acid. That could burn right through my suit. So by default, he throws this torch on the ground so you can still get heated by it. But since it's daytime, I will no longer need it. Oxygen warning. So let's take a look here. Let's go make an ele ele electrical wiring, and then a research module upgrade. My scanning instruments are lost. Now. I should get better results from now on. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and get, we'll say, oxygen filtering. I guess since I'm carrying resin anyways, I might as well get one more resin pile. Inventory manager's a uh, real pain. That's not the one that retreats.
Even when dead? I it's hope still you're drooling. coping well with our current situation. Something new to scan. This will be breaking soon, so as long as I have the resource, you should always try to have spark stone and timber on you. Warning, acid detected. Suits run out of buckets. Nowhere to put that. Warning, acid detected. Apparently, I can't slaughter it. Warning, acid detected. Hazard protection critical. So this tells me that my, my I'm recovering, and but that lets you know. Maybe he died of thirst. Maybe he died of thirst. Warning, acid detected. What else we got to research? Advanced oxygen filtering. And is there anything I want to build right now? Not particularly. I guess I could start working towards an air synth. Why don't we do that? So build a... a Suits run out of buckets. I don't have space for that right now. Warning, acid detected. Yeah, we're at the them. They're backing on. Time to make first contact. Alright. If this were my first time, I'd have an achievement for first contact here. That's them, Carl. Friend or foe, these guys must know something about our crew. Okay, uh, I will be reading their dialogue because it's otherwise just a bunch of grumbles. Greetings. My name is Quinn Hicks. Do not be alarmed. I am a representative from Space Corps and the United Worlds Congress. I am here to aid you with this crisis. Hmm. Another one. You survived the attack of the betrayers? The sun is setting. Uh, survived? So it's true then. They didn't make it, did they? No, I fight for the ages. I'm sure they showed the betrayers. You warriors from Katarn's kin? We're not warriors. We're scientists. We just wanted to help rescue you. This is not an age for scientists. Only mighty warriors. Age of eternal war. You are hunted by the betrayers. You may enter. This stays haven for all. Th thank you. That's very kind of you to open your doors for a stranger from another planet. We are all hunted here. We must stick together. In this, we have all we need to trust you. Seek out Clawtooth. He will want to meet you. This just might be the last safe place on Katurn. I hope it stays that way. Alright, uh... Let's real quick try to cook some of this stuff before it rots. I've never cooked before, so... I don't... Oh, there we go. So I click and drag over it. The 
search results are in. I can cook this. No. Okay. And recook it? No. Alright, uh, I'll need a fabrication bench. Haven't even researched that yet. Start on that. It's going to inhale. Take a look at my discoveries. out the pockets. I can't carry any more. Looks like a new sample. All right, let's research that. We have all these objectives to take a look, so we should that should be done. I think that's why it's colored, and this is done. So now next is we're doing the Braculon, so we're heading kind of in this direction. Okay, what was I? Oh yeah, we're gonna try this. Tambor rope, metal canister. I don't think I know how to make that yet. So I guess we'll just make an air synth filter. Air synth. That on. Looks like I can scan this. I wonder what I'll find. Finish researching. All right, structures, fabrication bench. Now, when you can de you can uh, deconstruct things, and you'll get less than you spent making it. But you can still deconstruct it if you require to do so. These guys will not guard you at all, so don't don't think that they're gonna help you in a fight. Storage locker does not store enough, and only store lets you store six things. That's that is woefully pathetic. Research results. We have located the Brachylon. Now we must discuss the situation facing Katern with them. something into the atmosphere. Carl, we need to get a closer look. I should scan this as soon as possible. Mm. 
I am detecting an unusual energy frequency nearby. I have marked its location on your map. Where is... is it in here? Where is Clawtooth? Still, you linger? Katerna showed you all it has to offer. Violence and death. It has. I want to go home. But I'm trapped here. Steal yourself and do it quick. Katerna does not allow such weakness. To step outside the oasis to step into an unforgiving world. You are hated. We are hated. But this you know, I am quite sure. And skilled, I suspect you are to have survived this long. But why would you sentence yourself to this fate? It'll be night soon. We were never even meant to step foot on this planet. Just take pictures from orbit. Then our ship was pulled into the planet. <laughs> but turn once not its prisoners to leave. They will keep us here, and you. This is your lot now, to suffer with those you wish to save. This is funny to you? Eight people, smart and caring people, are dead now. They didn't deserve this. We were scientists, here to help you. And now then, who's your chance? Did you come to help my city's way and letting others bear the burdens, or are you here to do the work? My mission is over. It is. This is the Oasis. The traitors have not followed us into these ruins since our arrival a short time ago. We have little left. Much had to be abandoned for retreat here. If you want to stay here, you will pull your weight. Ask him what they need. I'm not helpless. I've managed pretty well so far. But we're in this together now. I'm going to help. I'll ask the others what's needed. So you can see why I I, I felt that uh, covering the story is not something that you might want to do in a serious playthrough. <laughs> Station sounds pretty cool, but I'm not too worried about that. We'll just hit the top one because I think it's. Let's see here. Now I can make a metal canister, which requires the fabrication bench, so I might be able to make the air vest pretty soon. What? Our mighty warriors are working endlessly to repair the oasis. I'm sure they could use your aid. So I met Clawtooth, and then meet the traitor. A being from the deep sky, long have we heard tales from the room keepers of those who dwell on the Contarians, brothers and sisters. Greetings. My name is Quinn Hicks. I'm part of a team that was sent to get you guys out of here. Things didn't work out too well, though. I don't think the rescue teams managed to land. What can you tell me about the Brachylon? Ah, the deep sky dweller wishes to learn of the Brachylon? I will tell you. We Brachylon, old, old civilization with long, long history, or so I am told. The children of Katurn, the guardians and protectors of all beasts who call this world home. No longer, sad to say. We are hunted, constantly. We flee, we hide, we fight. But the war is endless. Our numbers dwindle and dwindle more, but the corrupted Brachylon are numberless. We dream of peace. We want to go back to the ways of old Brachylon, living with the land, not watching it fade away, being pursued from one dying land to the next. That's awful. But it looks like you're safe here. I'm going to do everything I can to help you guys. 
We might not be able to leave Katern, but we can make do with what we have. Many blessings. I pray you prove to be a valuable ally in time. Now let's real quick form the uh, air suit because I feel the air is the, the hardest thing to, the most difficult thing to keep intact. We, I'm still gonna do all this stuff, but I'm gonna try to make the air suit. Since there's so much dialogue, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna expire from talking to people. That's literally what's gonna happen. Now, the reason I didn't build the fabrication bench inside is that it doesn't let you build inside this place. for a second. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, to build the air vest, I need a filter, which requires an air sac, which I just used all of them, okay. And a metal canister. Alright. I keep doing that. Can I build another storage box? Do I need a, it's a timber cloth? That's right. Finish rotting? I can't tell. I think it is. Yep, it just all turned into rotten food right there. One spark stone. Oh. Fine, whatever. Here's a small stack of. I'll take a small stack of timber. Research complete. I'm assuming I can't recook. If you research everything in the, uh, that you as soon as you can, you will actually have a hard time uh, researching stuff you want. So once I can get the few basic stuff, I will probably be a lot more picky about what I'm researching. All right. So first things first, I'm going to try to find some of those air sacs. Warning acid detected. Warning acid detected. Warning acid detected. Another like a setting. Another is a pile of them somewhere, but I don't remember where. Maybe there. Oh, it's probably Flora. There's one. It's kind of a far trip, but I'm sure it'll be worth it because I want one of those eventually. And since I'm going to be sitting through a lot of dialogue, let's just grab it. Warning. 
Wow. This looks extremely dangerous. Um, Carl, I won't die if I stand here for too long, right? Negative. This region appears to have the lowest amount of void energies. I believe we are in the eye of the storm. I think we've found our culprit for what's happening to this planet. This hole looks like it goes on forever. He's talking about the uh, world forge that was in the town. Why would someone make this thing? What's it supposed to do? Unknown. Recommended actions are to ask the Brachylon these questions. Yeah. We need more information. A lot more information. We're going to need to analyze this structure to figure out how to stop it. Hmm. The structure looks really old and really damaged. It also looks like it's missing a lot of parts. If we had any of the parts for this structure, we should try to hook them into place. But I'll admit, I don't know if we can fix it even with the parts. Agreed. Our fabricator is not sufficient to make the repairs or the parts. This technology is unknown to Space Corps. All right. Let's ask around. Maybe someone will know something. And if we see any parts, we'll bring them here. Okay, let's talk to the people now. I spent time prepping my character to be full on stats. So if we can enjoy this dialogue. So this is the World Forge we were talking about earlier. Blessings, blessings, being from the deep, deep sky. You are a long way from home. I am. Who are you? I am a rune keeper, the keeper of crystals, a listener to their words and the whisperer of their commands. I and my fellow rune keepers accompany the back line, studying the old world, the ruins, learning the old words of our fathers, fathers, fathers left behind. Should you be lost, do you encounter a mystery you cannot resolve? Seek me out. I will see if I can aid you. Thank you. I'm sure I'll ask you a few questions while I'm here. How long have you all been pursued by the corrupted Brachylons anyway? Oh, oh. Our whole lives we were born into this war. We're blinded by it. We have known no other life. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, this war will soon be over. Hope we have held our whole lives, but with your appearance, there is change. Where this change shall lead is yet to be known. We shall see. Yes, we will. It was nice meeting you. Is there, oh yeah, the, the exclamation mark just means that I can research stuff. Ask the runekeeper about the structure, which we'll do in a second. I just wanted to get rid of that objective marker. Ah, uh, last one. Welcome. I found a massive structure which tunnels to the center of Katern. What do you know about it? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes, the world forged, the mightiest of mighty, the grandest defeat of our fathers, fathers, fathers. So much knowledge is lost for the world forge, I can tell you what I know, but all else would be guessing. It is a structure of much significance, shaping the destinies of the Brachalon, Katern and its crystals. Katern guided those of old to build it. It was to grant us power over the land, to shape the trees, the beasts, and birds, to nurture life and make it flourish endlessly. That is where my records cease, lost to the Sundering. The Sundering? Yes, the day of ruin, the start of the endless war, the uprise of the Void Speakers. We can discuss that in another time, however. The World Forge demands attention. If you wish to learn of the World Forge, I require texts, those that were stolen from us. The corrupted are prone to bring them into battle. Slay them without mercy, for they are capable not of mercy. Bring to me the Brachalon texts. Looks like there's more conflict on the horizon. Hello. You all seem to have your hands, or oh, claws, full here. Yes, much to do. We are building up ruins and stronghold. We'll protect others here from betrayers. 
We have plans. We have hopes. We want all Brackalon to find this place. Make it their home. The chairs recoil when near here. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Just give me something to do. Good. High spirits. You can bring food to the Brackalon or crystal to greenkeepers. Us warriors have need of refined carapace. Take your choice. I can take care of all three, if you'll let me. Hmm. I respect your zeal to aid us. Katern looks well upon those who go so far for others. There's one more thing you can do good with. Clawtooth may not say, but his wounds are bad. They run deep. He states quite plainly not to be bothered, but we worry. We have lost many, which you see is a small group of survivors from attack. Even our great chieftain, Delaflor, are not to make it. We do not want to lose Clawtooth, too. Bring him medicine. Powerful medicine. He looked pretty beat up when I talked to him, but I didn't know it was that bad. I'll do everything I can. You can count on me. Once I talk to the trader, I think we'll be done for this recording session, because I'd like to get it edited and uploaded for Thursday. I'd like to thank Nayreran, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm saying his name right, for suggesting the game. I had never heard of the game until he mentioned it. And yeah, it is looks it does look like something I enjoy. Hello. Would you like to trade? Oh. Yes, I would. Then I must apologize. I am unable to trade with you. This structure was once a bustling hub of trade. But no more. Oh? Then why are you standing here? Because I wish it was open. I wish to trade with people. But much is needed. If I had supplies, I could fix this place. Trade many things. I can get the supplies for you. If I do that, will you trade with me? Yes. Very much yes. Return to me with supplies. You can hand them in and I can get to work. Once everything is obtained, market can reopen. Many Brekalon will travel to trade here. I can offer you much. Great. I'd better get started then. I'll return here when I have things to drop off for you. I thank you for your help. Best of luck and make a turn and watch over you. Although it's totally portable, the, the lung, I think, just rots and turns into rotten food if I don't use it. Alright, so we've completed all of the town objectives, which now starts the bigger mission, which uh, we will review before I log off for the day so that I can edit this, hopefully get it up by Thursday. Um, I think that is where my stuff is. I think that's where the white, what the white dots mean. Okay, yeah, so the, the, the my, my portable oven did just disappear. Well, not just, but yes. <laughs>